playing certain custom maps. Yikes! I mean, I don't play custom maps. It's not my jam. I, I play Goods 404, and that's as custom map as I get. Uh, actually, speaking of which, I I've gotten different reactions over the whole rage mode thing, the whole rage quit thing, and I kind of want to talk about that too right now. This is this is actually going to be a pretty cool episode. I like how this is going thus far because it's a lot of me talking about things that are important to me. And if I don't talk about that, what, what do I talk about? I mean, if it's not important to me, why do I even why would I even bother talking about it? And what I want to talk about is opinions that are important to me. Jeez, I hit like this is a good cave. Um, a lot of commentators sort of make it their agenda. To tell people that they aren't influenced by um, what people say and that what they do is what they find interesting. Congratulations, commentators who do that, and I, I do that all the time. I make it my shtick event, uh, every now and then to say I do what I find fun and I don't do what I don't find fun. And But regardless of that, some things do keep me going, and so there are opinions that I, I highly value, and that really, that are really important to me, in other words, and that I respond to. Um, and one of those opinions, specifically, is the opinion of my friends and viewers. Now, a lot of people will say, a lot of commentators, as I said, will make a point out of saying, like, you know, I play what I play, and if you want to watch it, watch it, and if you don't, don't. But... I personally, I feel like when somebody's giving me advice, um, that that kind of has an effect on me because not only do I kind of want to conform to that advice, and not in a bad way, conform has a, a very negative connotation, but not in a bad way, can't get that lap as yet, um, but say, let's talk about this whole rage mode thing, to bring up a concrete example, because I feel like I'm just flapping my gums, and it's hard for you guys to understand what I'm saying, because I'm not very good at explaining myself. You know, because I, my mind's just, I've, I've been having these weird panic attacks related to admission, college admission decisions that I'm getting back tomorrow. So, yeah, not cool. So my brain's just all over the place, so I apologize for my crazy babble. Um, but a specific example to help you guys understand. Um, I released the Rage Mode videos, and a friend of mine... Uh, I slowly noticed him getting a bit more irritated with every episode. And he was like, at first he was like, you find, this, I, I don't know how you can find this fun. And it sort of got like increasingly critical. And critical also has a bad connotation, but I don't mean it in a bad way. It was sort of like concern, not criticism of me, but concern over what I was playing. And... Creepers everywhere. This is ridiculous. I do like this room, though. It's very cozy. I've been noticing a lot of these recently in 1.8. Um, and beyond, of course. I mean, it's 1.0. What am I talking about, 1.8? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Son of a gun. Come at me, bro! Oh, he gave me some redstone. Well, he didn't give it to me. I'm gonna have to explore this later. It's probably daytime outside. I'm gonna head out, head out back. Um, anyhow, that example I was getting to. Jeez, get, get, stay on topic. Come on, bro. Um, is a friend of mine who used to run a server I played on, uh, Twilight Warrior. He may have been in some of my older "Help Me Build My House" videos. He. He's a cool dude, I still talk to him all the time. Uh, Facebook, game toasts, stuff like that. And he was the one getting slightly irritated. And on the most recent video, uh, he posted... I actually can't remember about it right now because I'm, my brain's just all over the place. But something along the lines of, um, you should tell me when you finally uh, start finding things so I can come back and watch because right now this is kind of unbearable. And I completely understand that. And watching the videos again, on one hand, it was fun to edit, and it was fun to play then. I can't say, for all the rage that I did, that I didn't have fun. I had so much fun playing Goods 404, and I still do. And I really, I'm really enjoying the map for all of the challenges that it's throwing at me. But, 
even so, it's a challenging map. It's it's ridiculous, and it does make me rage. It makes me very angry. But at the same time, I can completely understand that when there's this lack of progress, it's not very interesting to watch. And it's sort of me screaming, and for for a lot of people, I can understand how that wouldn't be fun to watch, how that wouldn't be entertaining. And so, his opinion, I very, very much value. And so when he wrote about that, I sort of looked at the episodes I was uploading, and I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should have done this and that, and I wouldn't have raged so hard if I had made this decision then. And it sort of prompts me to a smarter mode of playing, I guess. And just to a smarter mode of uploading and commentary. Because... As fun as it may have been to watch me rage, and I've gotten a lot of good feedback from those videos uh, regardless, um, there were way I could have been beyond that house already. I could have been done with that. There are some conclusions that I reach in the video I reach way too late. Some practices I start later in the video I start way too late. So, basically, what I've been trying to get to... Um, and I haven't even gotten to the challenge I was going to work on. Maybe this will be a long episode. Maybe if, maybe that'll hold you guys over if I start making longer episodes of this to make up for all of the times that I wasn't uploading. Look at that. Just monsters everywhere. I'll fight him. I'll take you on. Anything behind you? Uh, but basically... For all the times I or anyone will make a point of not being influenced by like outer factors, to an extent I can see how that's true, to an extent, but then at the same time I can understand that because there are lots of opinions I value and being completely blind to those doesn't help anyone, especially if you're going into commentary and, and you have to interact with people. And I have to sounds really bad. Actually, now that I've said it, you don't have to interact with people, although it's preferable that you do, and it makes you a better commentator. Uh, which is why, actually, I'm having so much fun with Monster Cat and Co-op. I know I keep bringing them up, and it feels like I'm shouting them out, but um, I'm actually I really enjoying Co-op. Um, because I feel like some of my funnier commentary comes out of me playing with other people. And... I haven't. I. I mean, I've been very serious, and I talk about things that are important to me. But I haven't really shown any any funniness so much in my videos. 